came to Crete in 1971, and uh, Crete was formed in 1966, uh, and I incorporated it, but I came to Crete in 1971. And in 1974, we bought Schaefer. When I found out who was going on, I mean, at that time, Crete had a really good reputation. They were financially strong and everything, and it was good to be bought by a company that you knew was financially stable and everything else you didn't need to worry about. At that period of time, you know, we had we had a lot of railers. We used to haul a lot of swinging meat, and practically now everything's going pre-cut, pre-boxed. You know, at that time, it was kind of interesting because Schaefer would uh, haul a lot of confectionery health and beauty aids, primarily off of the East Coast Sunflower Carriers, which later was merged into uh, Schaefer Trucking was based in York, Nebraska and hauled a substantial amount of uh, red meat out of the Midwest to the East Coast and the Southeast. So the two companies kind of complemented each other coming out of ge different geographic areas of the country uh, with different uh, types of product. At the time, uh, Cree was a contract carrier and was limited to six contracts. So Schaefer gave us some opportunity to expand because they were a common carrier, could have an unlimited number of contracts or shippers, and so we had the interest in that. You would always get uh, other companies protesting your approval for rights, and if you had the rights, you had pretty well made in areas that you could go to. And so we started, we just took the trucks and said they didn't go to a place where we didn't have a return haul. For example, Ohio, we ran pretty heavy. We didn't have a good haul out of there on food but we hauled charcoal baquettes, but it was something that paid us something to get back to Pennsylvania. So basically, we started running zones. Mm -hmm.